Did you guys know about this Olympic sprinter Trayvon Bromel? He lives for more than times and titles, running for God's glory. Hey you all and welcome back to my channel and I'm super excited to share with you all this beautiful story slash testimony of Olympic sprinter Trayvon Bromel who lives for more than times and titles. Can you all stop making noise? I'm literally trying my best to shoot the video and those unending noises are so irritating but I'm trying to keep it no, I'm trying to have patience. Are you all ready for this? You can grab your coffee or your tea and just listen to this. Yesterday I received this magazine from Billy Graham's organization. In this magazine you will find so many prayers, so many Bible inspiration things, so many uh, testimonies of people and I'm super excited to share with you all the testimony of the specific Olympic named Bromel. But before I start getting into the testimony of this Olympic player, I want to clarify that this is not to glorify this person. This video is specifically to glorify our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. But it is always wonderful to hear everybody else's testimony, what they have been through, and how God has worked in their life. And that's what exactly we're going to see today. So let me go ahead and read it for you all. Bromel told the decision a few days before leaving for the games. He has shown me how powerful he is. And he has shown me the reason for doing what I'm supposed to. Regardless of it all, look at the impact it has made since me coming back on the scene. I haven't won a title. I haven't done anything. But this word, me speaking of God, has hit many across the globe. I tell people it's not about titles for me. It's not about... A medal with me it's about reaching millions of people that need to be saved his goal has always been not just winning the names and titles but to spread the word of god even though he went through all the surgeries and things like that people wanted him to come back with all his stories about his surgeries what he won and everything but he just wants to talk about god isn't that amazing I feel like we are still blinded by seeing me back running he said in a television interview in april the story is God is powerful. Christ is powerful. Look at what he is doing in front of your eyes. Like how much more does he have to show you all to tell you all that he is real? Highs and lows. The track and field world has been watching Bromel since his high school days in St. Petersburg, Florida. So even though he was winning all these names and titles, his main focus was to spread the word of God. And he told people, can you guys not see that Jesus is real? He's God. He's true living God. He was raised in poverty by a single mother on the south side of St. Petersburg. He grew up with gang influence and violence all around him. That kind of upbringing can destroy a person. But Bromel points out that it can also help you learn how to withstand the storms of life. Even though he has been through his worst in his life from his young age, he did not look at the negative things. More importantly, he put his trust in God. Turning point. It was during his forced hiatus from springing that Rommel got serious about living for Jesus Christ. Although he had been baptized as a teen and had talked about his faith throughout his career, 2018 marked a change. I was in a low point, he told the session. And I feel like we see in scripture that a lot of people go through these trials. We see how God changed them. In those down times, God showed me. I told you that you couldn't do it by yourself. But I told you that with me, you can do all things. Amen. Once I gave myself 110% into his word, I started to see a change. It wasn't just me knowing like one scripture. It wasn't just me knowing the Lord's prayer. It's bigger than that. Now listen to this. It's bigger than that. It's actually building that connection and relationship. He has posted about the change on social media. In 2018, he wrote on Instagram, I told God he can have the money. He can have all the miscellaneous things back. I just wanted to run, to feel free again. He said, I don't want that. I want a relationship with you. All it took for me 
to put my all into him rather than to put my faith in the material things I have gained. It cost me nothing to let go and let God. Talk with Brahma today and you will hear God's word. Every day I speak, I find myself bringing scripture into play, Brahma said. And that's how it should be. So it becomes a thing where every time I open my mouth, I'm talking about the word of God. His social media posts consistently point to Jesus Christ. When he turned 26 in July, his Instagram read, Lord, you have blessed me to be able to live on this earth for 26 years. I am grateful for the life you have blessed me with. Not just being an athlete and a scholar, but the spiritual transformation. I will forever speak your word as long as I live. Thank you, Abba. You are Yahweh Elohim. You are the creator and perfecter of our faith. Amen. He ends up by saying that, no, I did not make the final of the Olympic Games. Also, I'm not rolling around in a pool of sorrow. Why? Because all year, all year I have told the world, it's never been about the material for me, but the change internally. God has brought me back from a career ending injury just to show me the world that he is right in front of us, in front of all of us. My head is up because God, you are marvelous. Eternal life with you is my gold medal. All praise to Elohim our God. What a great one we serve. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful testimony for you all guys? Rommel, who, who grew up in problems and then when he won his Olympics, it was never about his titles. It was never about times and titles. His main focus was on spreading the word of God. So from this testimony, we also learn that whoever we are and whatever our problems are, we have to look upon our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. He's the Alpha and the Omega, He's the beginning and the end. And it's all about personal relationship with Jesus Christ. We can have all sorts of materialistic life and materialistic thing, but if we don't have Christ in our life, if we don't focus on Him, and if we don't accept Him as our Lord and Savior, then all other things does not really matter. And once again, He does not look at our works. He does not look at how rich we are or how good looking we are or how poor we are. He doesn't care about all those materialistic things. He is looking for a pure heart that searches for truth for him, the true living God. So this should be an inspiration for all of us that having relationship with Jesus Christ is way more important than anything or anyone in this life. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like this kind of videos, please comment down below and I'll come up with more testimonies and inspirational stories based on the word of God for his kingdom and his glory. Amen. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, take care. God bless you all and Stay rooted in Christ. Bye.